which social media app has the best image quality. What is up you guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we're comparing image quality for photos in different social media apps. So we're gonna check out a comparison between Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, newly launched, and also Vero to check out which of these apps has the best upload quality for photos. So maybe you're a photographer and you're looking for one of these apps, there are several, many options, and looking to decide in which one you're gonna to post your work. So this video is gonna be helpful for you. So let's jump into it. So creators, here we have our original image, full size, full resolution, no crop. This is a raw file from my Sony a7 IV, 33 megapixels, and the resolution is 4,672 times 7,008. So this is a very big file. You're gonna see how the resolution starts to drop depending on the app that we uploaded. So as you can see, the resolution is so big that you can crop in and the image still looks very sharp very sharp even if we keep cropping in we don't see any aberrations or anything like that now i chose this image in particular for this comparison because it has very technical or difficult elements to process for resizing apps for example we have this gradient in the background we have light in the sky over here and then it gradually changes into this dark tone and this is a very difficult part of an image a gradient to process for certain apps when you're making it smaller to save up space so normally we're going to see some banding and we're going to see some pixels where you start to get bigger in the sky also we have a central object right here which is very detailed here we can check out the sharpness and then we have dark parts of the image that normally tend to lose a lot of information in lower quality uploads now for this comparison we're going to go from worst to best and that means we have to start with instagram so here we have the image from instagram and it looks terrible it's very evident why it's in the bottom of our tier list in social media apps and as you can see the aspect ratio has been changed a bit it's been cropped into a 4x5 that's just instagram that's how it is and the resolution has dropped into a 1080 times 1350 pixels. Now, Instagram not only makes our image smaller in size, but also it reduces the amount of information in certain parts of the image. So if Instagram detects that some parts of the image look very similar, like in the sky, it's gonna start blending the colors and making a huge mesh. And as you can see in the sky over here, the pixels are very big and the colors are bleeding into each other. That's a problem with Instagram. It also happens in the shadows, as you can see the blacks, are meshing in with the grays and basically we end up with this blur in the dark parts of the image. So that's very common to see in Instagram. Now, as you can see, our sky looks terrible. We have all those pixels really starting to appear, these effects, but also we have this banding effect, which is just a big defect of the downscale in Instagram. As you can see, these bands or these arches appearing in the gradient is basically ruining our entire photo. Now, if we compare it to our original image right here, you can notice how the Instagram image looks terrible. And if you zoom in, you can notice the difference in sharpness that this image has compared to the original one. It's very soft. We're losing a lot of detail in all parts of our image. So this is why Instagram is the worst app to post your photos if you're interested in the highest quality or resolution. Okay, next on the list, we have Threads by Meta. As you know, Threads has been launched to compete with Twitter, but you can also post images in it. Now, as you can see, the image looks way better than in Instagram. And notice that the resolution is smaller. It's a 1070 image times 713 pixels. So it's smaller than Instagram, but the compression process is way better. So we're not losing all that detail and information on our image. Now, one thing that I have to keep in mind with threads is that you cannot post big images and expect for the app to lower the resolution and downscale it properly. You can do this in all the other apps. In threads, it basically crashes the app or it won't let you upload big files. You have to scale it correctly before you post it to a 1070 pixel image. Okay, so in threads, even though it's a smaller file, we don't see that banding in the sky and we don't see those big pixels. Still, we see a little bit of pixelage in the image, but it's very low compared to Instagram. Now, if we compare to our original photo and it's losing a lot of resolution, you can basically see the staircases in the pixels <laughs> around the diagonals and it's a very soft image compared to the original one, but it's doing quite a good job in terms of aberrations and any type of effect that may appear by the compression. Next on our list, we have a tie in second place between Twitter and Facebook. Now, this is quite surprising because these two are the oldest apps on our comparison list. So right here, we have our image from Twitter and looks great, looks fantastic. And we can switch over to Facebook and there's basically no change. These two images are basically taken and resized and uploaded in the same quality. Both of them are 1,365 times 2,048 pixels. As you can see, if we zoom in, 
the image has a decent quality, not the best, not, nothing compared to our original file, but we don't see any artifacts in the sky, any banding or anything like that. We do see a little bit of bleeding in the sky with the pixels. As you can see, some of the pixels are basically darker than they should be, but that's basically normal with the resizing. So these two images from Twitter and Facebook look fantastic to the naked eye without pixel peeping. Now, if you compare any of them to our original image, and you can see the big difference between resolution. This image is five times bigger than the other one, and therefore the pixels are gonna be bigger, and we're gonna lose a lot of information. It's gonna be a lot softer compared to the original image. Now, obviously in the details, we can see the comparison and the original image is a lot more detailed. We can see more sharpness and that's basically just a byproduct of the resizing. But in general terms, it is a very good display for an image on social media. So Twitter and Facebook do a very nice job. And finally, first place goes to Vero. Now Vero is an app that not many people are familiar with, but you can upload images from 3000 times 3000 pixels, so high resolution images. Now here we have the image and straight out of the box, it looks fantastic. If we zoom in, we have quite decent detail, nothing compared to the original image, but it holds up quite well. We don't have any aberrations or any effects. Now, as you can see, the resolution is not quite 3000 pixels. It's 2,673 times 1,782 pixels. And that's basically because I couldn't download the original image from Vero. I had to use a screen grab. And as you can see over here, here's the original file. And still we're retaining a lot of resolution, even though this is a screenshot from my computer. So if we compare to our original image, we can notice clearly the difference, but still we have a quite a nice resolution compared to the other social media apps. Yes, we still can see the pixels and those little staircases appearing around in the objects, but it's a much better performance. If we zoom in, to the more detailed parts on our image over here. The difference between the original image and the one from Vero is becoming a bit negligible compared in particular to the one from Threads or from Instagram. You can basically notice the detail is a bit sharper in the original image, but in Vero, it holds up quite well. So Vero, in my eyes, is a clean winner in terms of resolution and sharpness and aberrations. So here we have Vero comparing it with Instagram, best against worst. And immediately you can notice that banding in the sky for Instagram, which is terrible. And in Vero, we have a cleaner sky with the gradient performing quite nicely. And then of course, we have a very soft image on Instagram compared to Vero over here. And we can basically do this comparison with all the other apps. And I think Vero is the clear winner. So there you have it guys, Vero takes the prize in terms of best upload quality for photos. And in last place comes Instagram followed by threads. Hopefully this video helped you to figure out which app you want to use for your line of work. Of course, many other factors come into place like the algorithm, maybe you need a popular app, maybe you need a strong messaging system or a place you can post your links to your portfolio or your website and many other factors come into play when deciding where you want to post your app. But in terms of image quality, Vero is the way to go. So I hope you liked this video, guys. Remember, if you want to watch more of my content, like my edit like series for photos, link up here. And if you want to watch my tutorials for video, you can watch it right here. See you in the next one. Cheers to all of you.